Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 24th, 2023. Well, my goodness, I got up this morning. I didn't think today was going to start, start very well. Um, all of our internet was down here, and um, it came up just in time for me to get enough research done to be able to put out the video this morning. So, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Marco Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, um, we had quite an evening last night with NVIDIA uh, really blowing out earnings, um, just smoking to the upside here. And that's having knock-on effects on um, all of the tech giants out there. Um, most are moving sharply higher this morning. So we're looking for a big gap up in the QQQ and the SPY. But what's interesting is the Dow is not responding uh, all that bullishly here today. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on here in the diamonds first. Um, if those bulls can find inspiration, well, let's see if we can push on through this resistance. Yesterday, we struggled in this area. And, and of course, we still have that uncertainty with the beginning of the Jackson Hole Symposium and all the talking heads that will be out there yakking it up, um, trying to um, inspire the market. So we'll want to watch that closely. Um, if we can continue to push to the upside and break through this resistance, then I think we have that shot that we can start moving up and testing some of these other resistance levels in the chart. First off, you know, for example, right up in here to see whether we can push through uh, some of these levels right there and then push into some of these big candles here where we had the big candle up, the big candle down. Can we reverse and get back up through there? Um, so watch that carefully and then keeping in mind that we will still have that 50 day moving average in here that we're going to have to deal with. And you'll notice our shorter term moving averages have been coming down, um, creating a technical uh, level of resistance in the chart that we'll have to keep an eye on. If, um, the bears were to happen to find inspiration today, then I would look for a retest of this support area here in the diamonds and and that would challenge this upside trend. The diamonds is the only index that continues to maintain its upside trend. The other indexes have failed that. So kind of interesting that we're seeing um, the diamonds being a little bit muted this morning where everything else is looking pretty good. Um, now, when we look at the diamonds, you know, we could look at um, Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft is popping up here this morning, um, getting enjoying a, a nice pop due to the NVIDIA earnings. And so is Apple getting a nice pop as a result. So big tech is doing its job here, but we're just not feeling all that happy here in the diamonds yet, kind of flat on the day. Let's take a look at our SPY now. SPY expecting the gap substantially higher here this morning on those big tech reports. And taking a look here in the chart, you can see breaking through this resistance in the gap up this morning and pushing right up into this next area of price resistance that we'll wanna be watching pretty closely on that gap up open. You know, it's one thing to to gap and, and push. It's another thing to follow through and prove that we've got enough energy to continue that move to the upside. So watch these areas up here. You'll wanna notice that we did break that trend um, here in the chart. And as we rally back up, we're gonna be dealing with this um, multi-layered um, consolidation of our uh, moving averages in here, a little bit of a moving average resistance area in the chart. If we can push through this level here, 
Um, and then, you know, looking at that next level higher is what we want to do. And where's that going to be? And I think it's somewhere up in this area. Um, this is a pretty strong area right through here. So let's watch that as a resistance in the chart. And if the bears were to, to come back in and find some inspiration to push down, well, obviously we were well away from the worry in this area here today. So I would suggest maybe a pushback and we retest support in here if those bears were to find uh, some inspiration, perhaps in the, the economic data today. So watch that carefully. Our QQQ, big pop here today breaking back through this um, resistance here at least in the pre-market trying to push on up so breaking through this level then i would say the next level above is going to be right up in here to see if we can pop up through there and that's going to be coming back up to see if we can test the underneath side of that trend that we broke here in the chart so keep a close eye on that um, also if i were to change this trend line here to across those um, areas right there notice we're going to come into a little bit of a um, double whammy or even a triple whammy we're going to have the resistance of that we're going to have the resistance of this and the resistance of the of, of this area right in here all coming together in that chart so keep an eye on that with that big gap whether or not we can push on through that level now remember um if the bears were to find inspiration here and push back, we're in pretty good shape here. I think we uh, we would first want to make sure we can hold that area. If that were to fail, maybe a pushback to fill the gap here would be the, the first thing, just to kind of come back and test that gap uh, for uh, that um, upside. Um, right now, big tech is so strong. Um, I'm not sure that we could see a reversal much stronger than that today. But if we were to, then uh, maybe coming back down here to that support level in the chart. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM also showing a little bit of bullishness here today. We had a nice pop in um, IWM yesterday. Little bit of bullishness, but not all that much, which is really kind of surprising. Um, looking in here, um, you can see we broke through this uh, little support area, resistance area in the chart. We're back up above that. So if the bulls can continue to push, then I would suggest that next level is right up here to test up in there. And if we can do that, you'll notice that we have a 50 day moving average right up in that area that could provide some resistance with an accumulation of moving averages to provide a little technical resistance as well. Looking uh, on the bearish side, if the bears were to come back in, well, maybe a retest of these lows the last three days those lows might be possible and if that were to fail then back down into this area of the chart and test that level Let's take a look at our vix our vix yesterday made a nice move pulling back so for the bulls this is a very good sign it's what they want to see is that we have broken that downtrend to the upside and this upside trend um, is holding um, right now but this nice pullback here would suggest that the bulls are going to have um, a good day um, particularly with the the data that we saw after the bell a good day today where we may break this back down and break this upside trend to uh, the downside on those bulls so watch that carefully with the gap up this morning i would expect we would gap down through that area here today if for some reason something in the economic data uh, turns this around to the other direction well holding in this area and bouncing up that that could be a problem for us if that were to occur but as the market sets up right now don't think that's a high likelihood at the moment let's take a look at our t2122 our t2122 finally came up out of the basement here um, yesterday relieving some of that pressure in the market and you can see up here 
39% in here and I'm guessing with the big gap in tech and the SPY that we're going to push this well beyond the midsection of that chart at the open. We'll just gap way up. Now keep in mind one of the problems with doing that is sometimes we move too far too fast with too much enthusiasm and then we get some profit taking coming right back in that could be a little bit worrisome but let's watch that closely um, certainly the relief rally was overdue and not a big surprise that it came along now let's take a look at the other um, internals here if we take a look at t2107 t2107 had a bounce yesterday but i gotta say it wasn't all that impressive this is the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average wasn't all that impressive this morning we should get more of a lift out of this i would hope uh, based on those tech reports and push this back up notice we've got about 45 percent of our stocks above their 200 day moving average. And if we can hold this area of support in here, then maybe we run up here and we retest this resistance area in the chart somewhere around 50% of the stocks above their 200 day. And the T2108 also just didn't really impress all that much yesterday. You'll notice that we had broken down through this area of support in the chart so we'll want to be keeping an eye on this with the with the tech rally that we've seen remember we can have a big tech bump because of seven eight nine uh ten tech stocks and have the rest of the market not feeling so good let's remember the complications that we have out there banking downgrades um, our, our economic numbers are not looking good. Our consumer numbers are not looking good. So just keep in mind, we can have one very hot sector move quite a bit. And it's just amazing that we can have just a, such a very few stocks controlling the whole market um, right now. But we'll want to watch this closely because we may not. We may not find um, a whole lot of follow through here with the rest of the market. So if we do get this nice little push to the upside, uh, let's look for some resistance right in here. Uh, we finished the day about 32% of the stocks above their 40 day. Maybe we push up there toward that 50% area uh, with a good bullish move here in the market today. But let's watch those resistance levels. And then T2101, T2101 was a little bit of a concern for me yesterday. Remember, absolute market breadth tells us the strength of a move. And obviously the bear side of this move showed lots of strength. We were struggling to the upside there for quite a period of time um, in the market. We just couldn't get things going uh, couldn't get enough breadth to continue to push to the upside and then suddenly those bears came in and that brought in the market breadth. Well, as you can see, as we rallied yesterday, that breadth was pulling back and we saw that that lower volume was in there. Now that could have um, an interesting effect here if that were to continue, if we were to continue to weaken on the buy wave that could be a problem for us but the big tech reports may provide just enough energy here today that we reverse this back to the upside on that buy wave and that would be a good sign for the bulls let's take a look at our economic calendar here today our economic calendar well we've got um a few things that we're going to want to be paying attention to um and not a big surprise that um second I've got a it's placed it over here there we go um, sorry that's blog research sorry for the disjointedness here this morning the internet really messed me up here today um, if you take a look we've got durable goods orders coming in this morning now durable goods can certainly move the market uh, pretty dramatically so let's keep an eye on this and consensus estimates are showing us that they are expecting a quite a big reversal here in our durable goods. Uh, the prior was 4.7, the prior revised was 4.6. Consensus is looking for 
a negative four. So a, a complete reversal on our durable goods orders. And then also we're looking for declines in our month over month uh, numbers on transportation and core capital goods. So watch that carefully. Um, if we come in close to consensus, we might be okay with the enthusiasm in tech. If that were to miss and go sh lower than this, um, that would be a problem here for the market. And we saw yesterday, you know, um, PMI in, in Europe just collapsed hard. Our PMI held up okay, but we're still on the manufacturing side in the negative range, and we're starting to see the services PMI move down as well. So a little bit of concern on our economy and the strength of the consumer. And then, of course, we're going to get our jobless claims. This has been problematic for us here. We are starting to see this creep up just a little bit, and consensus is expecting it to creep up. Um, and that would make the Fed happy if we start to see a few more problems coming into that employment sector. But um, if we start to see those employment numbers come up, that might soften the market as well. Let's take a look. Um, we've also got um, uh, Chicago Fed national activity. We've got petroleum, or excuse me, uh, natural gas in here. We'll be doing some bond auctions here this afternoon to be paying attention to, and then that Fed balance sheet at the end of the day, probably not going to be all that notable. Um, remember on Friday, as we move into that, we're going to be hearing from uh, Jerome Powell over in Jackson Hole. So keep an eye on that. There may be a little bit of uncertainty about how that um, might um, affect the market. So um, watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at some of our stocks that um, might be um, on that earnings calendar uh, to be paying attention to. And the earnings calendar uh, this morning um, I'm going to run through these really, really fast uh, since there is no blog this morning. Um, AFRM is on that list. Uh, we've got Burlington, a little pop and drop going on there in Burlington. Uh, Dollar Tree, Ooh, not looking so good there in Dollar Tree, but bouncing back up. We've got FRO reporting. Um, we've got uh, the Gap Stores reporting today. type um, H-A-I-N reporting today gapping a little bit lower we're gonna have into it after the bell today um, Marvel will be reporting nice little gap up here this morning uh, JWN will be reporting today woof RY Royal Bank of Canada looking good there this morning uh, TD will be reporting. Ulta will be uh, reporting this afternoon. W Day will be reporting, gapping up again this morning. And WB also reporting today. So those are your notable list for this morning. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and that would be click that um, a thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that uh, just a news item uh, popping in here um, uh, Turkey surprises with a bigger than expected interest rate hike um, their their interest rate is now 25% um, due to their extremely high inflation in Turkey so um, not seeing any major reaction to the market on that, but kind of a surprise. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. And then, of course, be very, very uh, uh, careful to follow your risk tolerances and your rules of trading. Never, ever blindly follow 
anyone else's trade ideas. So first off, let's take a look at um, some of these in here moving around quite a bit. I was really surprised yesterday to see such a big pop in silver. Now silver moving up strongly here yesterday. I would expect a little rest or pullback. There's a huge gap here left behind on silver. You can see last time when we did this, we moved on higher. Um, watch that closely. Now, one of the things that is uh, making that happen is we saw a little bit of weakening in bond yields yesterday, and that turned the dollar around, putting in a bearish engulfing candle. But you'll want to notice this morning, we're showing a little bit of strength in the dollar here this morning. We may be popping back up and holding in this area. So keep a close eye on that gold and silver. All the commodities uh, could fluctuate here quite a bit if we reverse back up here on the dollar. Um, gold also um, had a pretty good day yesterday pushing up. There's no buy signal in here, but it's interesting that um, they started coming back around. Now, speaking of other commodities, oil. Oil struggled just a little bit yesterday. Whoops. Um, let's go to XLE. Um, XLE struggled just a little bit yesterday, gapping lower, and then we had that petroleum status number come out and show that there was a decline in supplies once again. So that brought things back up. We'll want to watch some of these charts. If we take a look at stocks like APA, um, holding above some support levels in the chart, um, I thought I had an alert up here thinking that we might hold in this trend, pop back up. That didn't occur. So watching this to see if we can start coming back in here now uh, could be of interest um, here on some of these stocks. We look at like um, ConocoPhillips holding support levels in here. We've got um, Schlumberger had a really good day yesterday. Nice little bullish engulfing, recovering um, its trend, a little bit of support in there. We can see uh, Valero bouncing up strongly with kind of a, a long-legged doji here, ham, uh, trying to come back up. So keep an eye on those. Could be a lot of volatility in it, but watch that close. Um, we might also want to be uh, keeping an eye in other areas of the market and obviously that's going to be big tech. Um, uh, Microsoft breaking back through this resistance in the chart. So now any rest or pullback in here sets up that opportunity that we have a higher low in Microsoft and that opportunity we can push on higher. Um, we're testing that 50 day moving average. So sometimes that could be a little bit of a battleground. Um, maybe a little bit of rest consolidation in here would be just what the doctor ordered. Uh, for that next potential move to the upside on Microsoft. So look at some of those tech sectors. Um, AMD, which had failed this price support in here, broke down. Well, you can see um, came right back up here on that news um, after the bell yesterday, and we're breaking that downtrend. This has a little higher low in there. So watch that carefully. If we can hold this area, AMD may also come back around to the upside. Keep an eye on on some of those techs. Um, MU would be another one you might find some interest in. Uh, breaking that downtrend here, recovering the support area in the chart, rest or pull back, hold some support in there. We may just find that next opportunity to the upside in some of these tech sector stocks. So watch that closely. Um, if we take a look at some other areas of the chart like um, the financials, well, our rally back up, whoops, our rally back up yesterday in XLF is going to rally us right back into a strong accumulation of moving averages. And obviously we have some issues to be concerned about in that financial sector. So I would be watching here in the financials for that opportunity of that next lower high, someplace up in here in those price resistance areas, look for that possibility that we could falter and then start coming down following trend here to the downside. And of course that could dis disrupt the market here just a little bit if we start seeing our financials struggle. So watch that closely here. Um, I would be keeping a pretty close eye on that. Take a look at um, some of our retail. Boy, some of it just was ugly, ugly, ugly in the reports. And we're starting to worry about breaking down here in these patterns. Coal's big, ugly here on the day. 
and then turned right around and popped back up. So if we can hold that 50 day moving average, if we can hang in here and maybe recuperate, put in a little higher low, it may come back around, but there's so many retailers struggling right now that I would watch that pretty closely and, and maybe even stay away from that sector for just a little bit um, as we struggle in here. Now, I apologize. I talked a little bit too long, so I've got to cut this short. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. Wish you all of the best. Just tickled to death that I was able to get the video done at all this morning. And I will see you all here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great day. I wish you all the best in your trading today.